What's up guys, Shoeboys123 here, and today I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on how to get the best shoe pictures. So, if you've seen our Instagram, we have a bunch of pictures, so go follow us if you haven't already. Alright, so the first part of this video is going to be the actual process of taking the pictures, and the second part is going to be the editing of the pictures. Alright, so the first part is the camera. So, camera honestly doesn't matter too much. If you don't have any, like, DSLR, you can take good pictures with any phone um, right now I'm filming with the 60D but I used to have the T3i so most of our pictures on Instagram are from the T3i the second is the angle low angles always work high, better than high angles so you have to get down into like a prone position on your stomach to be able to take good pictures of the shoes now you don't have to follow these rules but this is just what I recommend this is what we usually do for shoe boys so it can make a pretty huge difference. So I'm going to show you two examples right now. And the pictures, obviously, like we're in Florida, as you can tell, in my short sleeve shirt, I'm not in Boston like we usually are. So the shoes that we had to use were Aiden's All Black Sperry's, since we didn't, he didn't really bring um, any of his collection down here. <coughs> All right. The third tip is distance. The distance can make a huge difference as well. So the person or the shoe can't be too far away um, or else you can't see enough detail of the shoe and it'll just look like it's a small part of the huge picture. You have to make sure that the shoe is the thing that you're mainly focusing on. But it can't be too close to the shoe or else it'll be either out of focus or it'll be cut off or it'll just be, it just won't look as good. There won't be as much depth of field. And yes, yeah, so you need some kind of healthy medium. All right, this one is completely optional. It's a kind of um, sneaker photo you can do. We do it a lot on our Instagram if you've seen it. They're long exposure shots. So um, they work best at night on a busy street. Have to make sure that your actor stays completely still or else the picture will turn out bad. Basically what it's doing is letting in light for a longer time. So it shows the shoe or the person with the shoe standing still and then everything around them is moving around really fast. So there's some cool lights with the cars going by. So here's how to do it. <clears throat> you can only do this if you have a DSLR camera, unless there's some app on phone that I don't know about. So first you're gonna have to go to your manual settings on your camera. I'll show you how to do all this like with some pictures or something. You have to boost the ISO to anywhere from 1000 to 6400. This is gonna change like the brightness of your photo. Then you change your shutter speed anywhere from five seconds to 30 seconds. You basically have to play around with these settings until you find what you want. Yeah, so then they should end up looking like these. All right, and lastly, for the um, final tip for taking the pictures is gonna be your lighting. For shoe boys, we always just use the natural lighting. It always works fine. You can get some really cool shots. If it's during the day, just make sure that it's like, well, you don't have to make sure of this, but the pictures pop and they look a lot better if it's in the sun. It's kind of duller if it's in the shade. So you're gonna have to make sure that they're in the sun. And then some really cool times to take pictures are times like this where the sun's rising and also when the sun's setting, you can get some really cool photos from that. All right, now on to editing. For software, all you need is a basic photo editing software. I personally use Picasa and occasionally GIMP if I need to do some fancy type of photo editing for a specific photo. Both of those are free. I think they're both Mac and PC, but I'm not really sure about that. I know they work for PC. Um, yeah, so that's it for software. It's basically anything you can get will work, uh, whether it's free or for a low price. All right, one thing you can do when editing is sharpening. That really helps a lot if you don't have a high quality camera. Um, on Picasso, there's a really cool um, tool called HDRS, which works really well. We use it on a lot of our sneaker photos. Uh, I'll show you some examples of a before and after. All right, last but not least is saturation. So if your photo is boring or dull, you have to add saturation to it. This helps a lot. 
it basically what it does is it boosts all the colors. Yeah, um, so basically just pop, makes all the color, colors pop. So it takes a dull photo and turns it into a nice, exciting photo, I guess. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just show you some examples right now of an unsaturated and a saturated photo. Uh -huh. All right, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for our video tomorrow. Leave suggestions down below what you want to see for our next video, and I'll see you guys around. Hold on.